Okay, so hi guys, this is Inkem again, and I just want to speak to you guys about Give Smart. Well, not really, but I'm reading this book, and we have an assignment basically to talk about our long term and short term goals and just basically say whether we met them, met our expectations, whether we failed, or whether we've exceeded our expectations. So, here we go. Um, I made a list of my short-term and long-term goals just so I stay organized, so let's see. Um, my short-term goal dealt with Compass Fellows. It was a year-long commitment, basically targeted at keeping at um, helping students find a social venture and pursue it. Um, I decided to abandon ship on that because I didn't feel like I was getting out of it what I should have, and I was more focused on something else. And I recently read this book called The Dip. I'm, I do not remember who it's by. I think his name is Gary, but it's in the reading room if any of you want to read it. It's a short read, and it's very helpful because it basically just talks about when you're in the dip, you have to understand whether you're willing to do everything necessary to go ahead and be number one at whatever you're trying to do, or whether you need to abandon ship and that's right. Um, they, if it, the, oh, sorry, excuse me. But it basically talks about that you can't do everything, and that's something I struggle with because I still believe I can do everything if I try. So it was very helpful, and it was very good that I decided to read that book. Um, basically, so another short term goal I had dealt with Scholars for Progress, and that's actually why I decided not to do Compass because I wanted to focus my time and energy on Scholars for Progress. Along with club volleyball to keep me in shape, and I love volleyball, so that's helpful. But back to Scholars Progress. Um, Scholars for Progress is a pre-college mentorship program that basically pairs high school juniors with college undergraduate students here at American University. And right now, we've actually just become a club at American. So if any of you are interested, you guys should join. We are passionate about helping students academically professionally and personally so they can do whatever they need to in order to gain a higher education or go to college and graduate high school. So that's what we're really working on right now. My short term goals for that were to um, get Woodrow Wilson High School and be able to work in there. And we actually have that. Our contact is, we have a contact in Woodrow Wilson that's actually starting that for us. So we should be starting this month, hopefully. And my long-term goal for Scholars for Progress was to expand the amount of mentors so we could expand the amount of mentees in the group. Because right now we only have five. So since there's only five mentors, we can only have five because each one is paired up with one. So in future semesters, future years, I'm hoping that we can expand that to about 10, 20, the whole junior class. I mean, you know, sky's the limit. But I feel like I'm doing, I feel like me, Rodrigo, Dan, everyone who's part of Scholars for Progress is doing the best we can and we're doing a great job trying to get that off the floor and I feel like we will be successful in, in that. It's too early to tell but since we're a club I think that's a heads up right there. Um, yeah, so basically Scholars for Progress was something for me that I really, that was my main focus this semester and it seems to be working out alright, so I'm happy about that. 